now we are going to start with a very interesting application uh, that uh, is provisioned uh, even in Pakistan by certain telecom companies and uh, uh, it, it's a world worldwide known phenomenon it is known as the mobile TV that is to access our TV broadcast service on your mobile uh, we would look at the general uh, requirements of multimedia traffic then we'd look at uh, how television or TV is broadcast and then we'd look at uh, specific requirements for mobile television um, the multimedia traffic which is uh, basically audio visual content is highly bandwidth consuming so it means the next generation network based on the uh, engine architecture has to support such high bandwidth and there are uh, technologies like 4G, WiMAX, etc., uh, which do provide such high bandwidth. So it means the video has to be continuously streamed. Um, as we had earlier discussed, it could be uh, a recorded stream or it could be a live stream. Anyways, the playback of the frames has to be a continuous process. The multimedia applications uh, which are uh, audio video and uh, sometimes uh, textual data like uh, like subtitles or uh, uh, text in video um, is a kind of uh, um, uh, video streaming that requires data rate which may vary depending upon the uh, nature of video being played uh, so this can actually have another kind of uh, variety that it can be either demand based or it can be live. So if it is demand based, it means the codecs that is the encoder decoder um, available on a certain uh, device, wireless device uh, can be negotiated. But if it is live, then it uh, it can vary its quality and the quality of experience would change as the live transmission takes place. So it means we have more flexibility for on-demand uh, video content access and uh, we have relatively less options available for live streaming. So television uh, as in a broadcast medium can be considered as a service that can be obtained either on-demand or live. Um, so, the television as a service can be offered as, uh, because it, it, it's audio-visual traffic. Uh, it can be offered on the uh, techn technologies in NGN using the best effort manner. It means since high bandwidth is, ex is available for most of the time, uh, the television service is going to work most of the time. But when uh, the uh, users in, uh, increase or the uh, traffic congestion happens or the wireless uh, channel impairments dominate, that case uh, the guarantee for providing consistent QoS is not there. So best effort service degrades uh, without uh, advance prior notice to the user. Likewise, the TV service can also be provided with certain QS guarantees. In that case, some kind of uh, resource allocation takes place in advance. Um, TV transmission versus um, the voice over IP has an exclusive behavior. That is, uh, it is transmitted to multiple users at the same time. The same content is uh, relayed in a copied manner i mean it is copied to multiple users uh, mostly in the downlink so it is a simplex um, multi casting or broadcasting service so it means this requirement has to be met very uh, in a very specialized ma manner by the service provider using whatever technology uh, that supports uh, iptv so uh, uh, this TV service as a broadcast service um, 
it is known as IPTV if it is provisioned through um, the classical um, IP stack, which is already defined in uh, NGN and 4G 4G network. Uh, but when it is provided in uh, in fixed wireless, it is you can call it IPTV. But in mobile wireless environments, uh, it becomes slightly more specific and it has some additional requirements. This is known as mobile TV. So the same downstream broadcast service uh, is now offered on a mobile, which is a handheld device. So it has its own constraints and limitations. Uh, the device is mobile. It means handover and connection make and break is expected. Then uh, the wireless behavior with its own channel impairments is going to have an effect on the um, data rate which is available at that particular moment. So all these uh, features make the provisioning of mobile TV a challenge. So uh, now the trade-off or the uh, business uh, sense is determined by the service provider. If the service provider uh, believes that uh, providing a television on mobile is highly uh, business oriented and it is likely to give returns. So some major investment can be made in terms of uh, um, uh, streaming servers, uh, um, high uh, spectrum allocation, etc., which would in ensure that the mobile TV meets certain QoS requirements uh, and vice versa. So it means mobile TV is an interesting technology, uh, is, an, is an interesting application that ensures the user having almost uh, a traditional TV kind of experience.